Hi, we are back. Thanks for staying with us and joining the studio now by Matt Chipman. Matt's the president of Green Chip Investor Relations. Matt, always good to see you. Glad to be here again, Don. Well, Matt, you know, for the first time in a long time, it seems like there's a lot of optimism surrounding the country and the economy. A consumer confidence is at its highest level in 16 years. Consumers are spending again, which in a consumer-driven economy, that's only a good thing. Absolutely. And Janet Yellen came out and said again that uh, the economy is on solid footing. You know, I guess it's a, uh, it's a little bit good and bad. I mean, we might see a little bit higher interest rates, mm -hmm. which certainly could help people earn a little bit more money uh, on their uh, on their long term investments. But, you know, there is a point where we don't want rates to go up too much. And of course, you know, we're seeing it's 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 a um, it's, it's not a, a real number when you think about it. It's a kind of a symbolic number, but a 20,000 Dow. NASDAQ closing in on 6,000 maybe in the next couple, three weeks. I mean, everything is just rosy. It, it, there is a lot of positive things going on when you have, um, you know, a president that mm -hmm. does support the growth in business, mm -hmm. the growth in, you know, regardless of his war with the media, maybe some of his relationships around the world, you know, seem to be reported as being, uh, you know, tenuous. But, you know, we are seeing um, a direction where uh, we will see more activity, better activity within our economy, and I think it's being reflected, maybe even surprising to some, uh, mm -hmm. in, in the stock market, and it has for the last several months. Well, for the first time in our nation's history, we didn't elect a politician, we elected a, cons we elected a, a CEO. And he's behaving like a CEO. You don't like something, he's gonna say something about it, he's gonna do something about it. And the thing that I find really interesting is that the media is all awash over the fact that he's actually keeping campaign promises. Well, yeah, he, it's not like he's doing something he didn't say right. he was going to do. I mean, and you said, like, again, he's a businessman. He's actually inviting business leaders to the White House. Mm -hmm. These are business people that have never received an invitation exactly. to the White House. And so he is uh, doing things, you know, and, and even holding court and in mm -hmm. business meetings, you know, so to speak, even though we're talking about political meetings, but having them at his country club or right. having them, you know, well, White House South or so well, forth. Does he have the rosiest personality? No. Does he have kind of a caustic demeanor? Yes. Does it seem to be working? I would have to say, yes, it seems to be working. Yeah, so far, you know, what, what I like seeing right now is that we're finally seeing some of the money trickle down to the uh, low price, mm -hmm. some of the uh, micro cap uh, mm -hmm. arena that where we demonstrate and, and the kind of companies that we work with. So, you know, the small guy, the entrepreneur that's really trying to build a business and grow that business so that they can be a mid, mid cap someday or even a large cap now has a chance. Well, there's an attitude. There's a pro-business attitude going on that gets business people fired up. It encourages them to maybe go out and attract new capital, do some expansion. And when that happens, that creates commerce, it creates jobs. It does, and I, I see it firsthand with some of the companies that we work with. It, it really, uh, you know, what happened in 2008 and 2009 was devastating mm -hmm. to everybody. You know, what happened was businesses, especially small businesses, lost their line of credits. They just right. did not have the ability to borrow money, and it makes it really 10 times more difficult to grow a business without having access to capital. Well, I think something like 45% of all the banking industry now is, is relegated to the top five banks, which is not what it was you know, 10, 12 years ago, and cannot be continued if, if you want small businesses to succeed. Uh, we're almost out of time, Matt, but if people want to know more about what you do, what can they do? Best way to go, uh, get a hold of me is to go to uh, my website or go and uh, send me an email. Okay. Go to, uh, send me an email at matt, M-A-T-T, -T, at, greenchipir.com or you can just go to greenchipir.com and you know send me a, a request to respond. Greenchip Investor Relations President Matt Chipman. Uh, Matt, uh, your input on this program is always appreciated. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me on.